It's 3.30 in the morning. I'm going to do a sketch. <laughs> it has been so long since I've made a drawing video. I can't even remember how long it's been. Uh, and I feel like if I don't just make one now, it's just going to keep being a long time till I make a video. There's never going to be a perfect time for it. And the baby just went to sleep. So I'm hoping I can get a quick sketch in and make a little video just saying hi to everybody. Have you ever been like, have you ever put off doing something for so long that the only way to do it is just to make it happen? Well, that's me and making videos. I want to get back to it. I want to get back on a regular schedule and it's not going to happen unless I just make it happen. So hey everyone how's it going <laughs> um but yeah how is everybody doing i hope you're having a good 2016 2015 was a wild ride for me i don't know about for y'all but it was intense can't complain it was mostly good a few downers but for the most part it's one of the best years of my life I think what I'm gonna do right now is just do a little self-portrait sketch <laughs> it's been a while since I did one of these and I I got a confession I have not been drawing much lately um, even with work I mean when you're doing character design, so like I was drawing eight hours a day, all day, all week, and then even doing some freelance on the weekends. When you're doing character designs, you draw a lot, but it's a different kind of drawing, you know? It's more like designing. It's more like math, doing math all day long, which I love. It was a lot of fun just figuring out what works, what doesn't work, lots of problem solving making sure everything reads clear and clean and uh yeah but there's not a lot of creativity involved not as much as you would think um because it's trying to get things on model and you know occasionally um you'd get stuff where you can squash and stretch it and you know i really enjoy that but uh for the most part it's just it's, a, it's kind of a day job it's a cool day job um, but because of that, I really haven't sketched as much lately. And I've heard friends tell me that once you get into the industry, once you get a job where you draw all the time, you just don't feel like drawing when you get home. And, uh, I didn't really believe them <laughs> at first. Um, but I get it now, especially when you got a family, you just want to come home and, and get to work. Uh, but Yeah. Now I'm done. I finished up on uh, after Wabbit. I went on to do help out on a couple straight to video uh, movies for Warner Brothers. One was uh, Scooby Doo Wild West. <laughs> and I mostly did cleanup on that one, and then um, the other was Jetsons Meet the WWE. <laughs> It's pretty cool. Um, and with that one, I was mostly like helping out the main character designer on it and uh, cleaning up his designs and uh, occasionally doing a f designs on my own from scratch. But yeah, it was mostly a lot of, uh, a lot of grunt work. <laughs> um, well, I got the head down now. <laughs> what else am I going to do to this? drawing how I feel right now it's it's not bad it's just a little overwhelmed <laughs> um but yeah I don't, I don't know what's next um it, I probably it looks like I'm not going to be going back for season two on Wabbit um they the problem with doing uh season two is you know it's it's good but season one, you know, you design most of the main characters, uh, and there's not gonna they're not gonna introduce a lot of new characters after that. Um, at least that's what I'm guessing. I don't know. It, it could be. 
I didn't really – it's not like they offered me a job to begin with. I just kind of was hoping that they'd uh, stick me in there somewhere. <laughs> but alas, uh, I've heard – I've had a couple um, – other producers say they were looking for spots for me on other shows, so maybe something will pan out. I don't know. I'm not counting my chickens yet. <laughs> um, really, it's this this job, this town is like it's uh, it's brutal. Like you don't have any kind of stability whatsoever. Um, I know people that have that were at Disney for like 15 years and then suddenly there's out. You don't really know, uh, you know, what, what your next project's going to be and, um, how long you're going to be on a project. Um, you just kind of hope that, uh, it works out. Uh, it pays really well. So if you're good with your money and you, you know, you save your paychecks, um, it can it can last you a long time. I think I drew his chin too big. I'm drawing little Emmett. My baby. Um so yeah, if I don't get another gig right away, um I've got a couple plans. Uh I've got lots of stuff I you know, been working on that I want to keep working on. So I'm not too, uh, not too worried. Like making videos, right? <laughs> I can finally get some, get back to making videos. We can all get excited about that. Uh, drawing baby heads. We have the same hair. Actually, he has more. <laughs> he has more hair than I do. Already, how did that happen? <laughs> there, he's got two more hairs than I do. <laughs> uh. All right, let's see here. Hold the baby like a football. How do I make this funny? I need something to make it funnier. It's not enough just to draw me holding a baby. Um, so one of my goals for this year is to get on a regular update schedule for videos. Uh, I plan to start updating every Friday. Uh, and the plan is Friday, every Friday at 8 a.m., there'll be a video up, and that's Pacific Standard Time. I've never, ever committed to a hard deadline day and time, so this is a first, so we'll see how it goes. If you've been wanting more videos from me, well, here we go. <laughs> this is going to be an adventure. <laughs> Maybe I could put my... Uh, sketch bag on or something. Oh, uh, you know it'd be funny? If I'm keeping them, if I'm like holding them under my... There we go. That's funnier. <laughs> um... What were we talking about? Oh, regular update schedule. Yeah. Uh, it'd probably be easier if I'm not working. Um, if I am working, I'm trying to get as many videos as I can in the can uh, ahead of time so that there's like a Having a baby has really changed everything. Like he, uh, ugh. right now he sleeps, he sleeps a lot, but he wakes up every two or three hours and we have to feed him and change him and then feed him and then change him. 
<laughs> and then change them again. It's lots of changing diapers. I knew that that was part of the job, but uh, I didn't think it was that many diapers. Oh my goodness. <laughs> it's a lot of diapers. So much poop. <laughs> but I'm not complaining. I always wondered, like, I always wanted to have kids. I'm sure I've talked about this before. Like, it's been one of, like, I it, it's an ache. I would say it's an ache. It was an ache in my heart to have kids, to bring a child into this world. And uh, now he's here. <laughs> and um, it's been every bit as awesome as I'd hoped it would be. And I know it's just going to get better and better. Like, he's only smiled a few times, you know, but when I can get him to smile, it's like, oh my god! <laughs> That's the best. Got to decide what kind of hands I'm drawing. Am I going to do cartoon hands? Let me ask you some uh, advice. If you have any suggestions on videos you'd like to see me do this year. Uh, and not just videos, like um, what would you like to see me do if you could have me do anything um any kind of projects or events or um yeah what would you like to see uh i'm drawing spit right now baby spit <laughs> and for everybody else um yeah to me you know just leave in the comments any kind of ideas that you have for videos or events or something in the future um, I don't know, maybe we could do um, some live stream hangouts, maybe get a group of other YouTube artists out there. I saw that uh, Bailey J has a group. She's, you know, last year, uh, Mary Doodles and Jazza and Cartoon Block and I had a hangout. We were talking about doing um, artists group, like YouTube artists, just like collection kind of thing. And uh, Bailey J went out and did it. <laughs> I love when people take an idea and then just run with it and they do it, you know, they kick butt with it. That's awesome. Um, yeah, I started talking about trying to get artists to talk about it and then it just, uh, life, life happened. Life always happens though. And I think I'm just going to color this now. Uh, actually color it first or ink it my color it first see what happens I have not gotten to use my I bought this box of Copic markers last year and I've barely been able to use it Amber my wife Amber she's gotten way more use out of them than I have <laughs> um, yeah it's like as soon as I bought it I was like oh life happened Life is happening. Why is life happening everywhere? So yeah, I'm still not used to coloring with them. There, there are parts I like about it, and then there's stuff I don't like about it. Like, um, especially on midtone paper, it dries kind of funny. Uh, it dries a lot lighter than I thought it would, than the Prismacolor markers did. And uh, it also tends to affect, they tend to affect the, uh, the pens that I use more than I thought that they would. But they're, they're cool. They definitely soak into the page nicely. How's that looking? Baby Emmett! So I ran into uh, a subscriber a couple days ago. Um, yeah, I. It's been a rough year for drawing, at least. It's been one of the better years professionally for me, but like artistically, not been so good. I have not been very uh, creative lately. 
Like I really, I haven't done any people sketching since I moved to Burbank. Um, I I do a little bit, but it's just not like it's not like drawing in Texas where I could just sit in a uh, restaurant or coffee shop or at the grocery store and just sketch for hours and hours. Like in LA, they kind of get on to you. Like they make it really uncomfortable for you to sit and sketch for hours. So usually after like 30 minutes, I feel like I got to move on or something. Um, and so I, I just haven't really gotten into the groove since I've been out here. And I think I've only filled one sketchbook and I, it was all sketches I wasn't really happy with. Uh, but part of it was starting with new, you know, switching art supplies. Uh, and I also sw switched sketchbooks and it just not, it just felt like nothing was clicking. And so it's been so frustrating. Um, but I ran into an artist named Mary Lou. <laughs> Hi, Mary Lou. I don't know if you're going to watch this video or not, but um, ran into her at the mall here in Burbank. Um, and she was sketching and not just sketching, but she was cranking out sketches of people sketches, just people walking around. And, uh, so I walked past and I was like peeking in on her drawings, like, <laughs> like a creep. <laughs> and I was there cause I was working on something, some, uh, illustration stuff for, for a personal project. And uh, I was going to just go and eat and sketch, you know, off in the corner by myself. And I decided, you know what, I'm going to go back and say hi and introduce myself. And um, so I did. And she was like, oh, my God, who you are? And <laughs> so we got to talking. And um, she's from the UK. And she just moved here to Burbank like three months ago or something. And I uh, got married. It sounds like a really eventful year and um, got married and she's switching careers from doing um, nursing to wanting to become a, like an animator to or vi do viz dev. And she's a pretty good, you know, like especially for just switching careers. And um, so she – you know, she let me look through her sketchbooks and she had one that was like full of um, full of people sketches, just like pen and ink doodles. And then another one that was just uh, sketches of like travel sketches, like a tra travel diary, uh, which was cool to see. And um, I don't know. It was cool like seeing because I've, I've lost that. Uh, you know, I, even I like, you know, I make all these videos talking about being an artist and getting inspired and getting excited and stuff. I get down too. like I get bummed sometimes. and I get really like um, uninspired like lately. Like I, I feel inspired, but then to actually like sit down and do it and it's like drawing is like a muscle. If you don't exercise it, it like starts to waste away and you actually get worse <laughs> like you, you know you won't uh, you can't run a marathon if you haven't been running at all for for the last six months and i really feel like uh i have not been running at all for a while i haven't been practicing so anytime i'd sit down to just do like sketch out a quick concept for an illustration or to do layouts for a book that I'm working on or um, even to do character designs at work. It just felt like like I was struggling. And um, but looking through Mary Lou's sketchbooks, it's like, oh, you, you just draw what you see. <laughs> like there's no secret. I always forget that there's no secret. You just draw everything. You just draw and draw and draw and you just do bad drawings until the good drawings come out. There's no secret. And you forget because you think like it, it – the moment sort of robs you of like the joy of drawing because you're you're so used to it just coming out like, like, like the way it's supposed to. And then when it stops, you just get frustrated. And I've been frustrated lately. So it was cool running into somebody that is excited about it again and really like thriving 
um, reminded me of what it takes. And But I wanted to share that story with you all because I know that um, eventually I'm not going to be rusty. I'm going to be back in the groove and having fun and just doing sketches that like just being on fire like being on fire with creativity and the way i do it and like i already feel better from doing this sketch and just talking it out but uh i wanted to share it with y'all because you know i'm a professional i've been around for a long time and even i struggle with it everybody does I don't know any artists that don't go through this. So, there it is. <laughs> uh, I don't know what to call this video because it's not a people sketching video. <laughs> I guess it's just a, it's not even a vlog. I don't know what this is. This is just a howdy video. I don't know. Ugh. That's the thing with YouTube is like I got myself into a uh, a rut of like, oh, the videos have to be this certain way. I can't post a video unless it's a people sketching video because uh, people complain if I don't do a people sketching video. Like I'll put up just a vlog and people are like, I want to see the people sketching and I totally get it. Uh, but the people sketching videos take a lot more work, take a lot more energy. And... Uh, I gotta kind of think about videos for a while and well I've made like I've sat down to try and make people sketching videos several times and uh, it just doesn't work <laughs> I can't get it out like I'll, I'll start talking and talking and then it just it's like it just doesn't feel right and when it doesn't feel right you can't force it especially with the type of videos that I want to do which are like you know, I'm encouraging people, or trying to at least. Um, but it's hard to it's hard to be encouraging when you don't feel encouraged yourself. I I hate trying to teach when I feel like I'm still learning, uh, or you know I'm struggling myself. Unless I make a video like this where I'm like, "Hey guys, I'm struggling. <laughs> this is what struggling looks like." And I'm good at it, so I can teach. <laughs> Struggle. Uh, anyways. Talking, talking, talking. Cool. I'm also using a different webcam. It's supposed to be a better webcam, but it actually, like, it lags all the time, and I don't like that the webcam and because I uh, the camera I usually use is this one here it's a Panasonic HDS is it SD60 HDC SD60 uh, and this is the one I used for a long time and I might switch back to it but it's only 720p where the this webcam is 1080p supposedly uh, and so it's supposed to be like better video quality but I don't care if it's better if it's janky it starts stuttering when I'm sketching I don't like that at all so I might switch back or eventually buy a new camera I don't know Ugh. blah 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 this week I'm trying not to complain <laughs> how are you doing at that will How's your not complaining going? <laughs> it stinks. I'm terrible at not complaining. <laughs> All right. Baby. Baby Emmett. All right.
Those hands look terrible. Uh, it's okay. It's okay. I'm just doing a bad sketch. I just gotta get it out. Gotta get your bad sketches out before you can get to the good ones. I know. Some people are probably thinking, that's a bad sketch. Yes, it's not the best sketch. How about that? My bad sketches. I try and only compare myself to where I was before. Am I getting better? If I am, then I'm on the right track. If I'm not getting better, like drawing terrible hands. <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. Can you tell this is a pacifier? It's not his mouth. It's like he's yelling. I don't like that. <laughs> what did I do? I ruined it! And that's my crappy sketch. Uh, what else? Any other announcements or anything? Um, we're going to Lubbock. If you, anybody is in Lubbock, in that area, um, I'm going to be at Lubbock Con. It's uh, February 20th, I think. So if you're in the West Texas area, you're looking for a comic book convention to go to, I highly recommend going to that one. I'll be a guest. I should have a table, I think. It will be weird if I don't have a table. Um, and I'll be in town for a couple weeks before that, unless I get a interview or something with another show at Warner Brothers. Um, but yeah, we're going back to visit family so that little Emmett can meet meet the cousins and the grandma and aunts and uncles and all that. I'm excited. That's the only thing about moving to California I'm, I don't like is that little babies growing up not knowing his extended family so we're gonna have to come back to visit pretty often how do you make this look like a pacifier maybe a little loop or something I don't know. okay I don't want to just outline it. So I'm going to do some sort of pattern in the background. Okay, I think that's going to do it. Just gonna sign my name. Sign my name. Are you used to draw, writing 2016 yet after your sketches? <laughs> I'm not. Okay. It is 4 a.m. now. <laughs> uh, Alright. Well, thanks for watching this video. It's good to see you guys again. Well, I can't see you, but it's good to be seen. It's good to have a video out again and um, look forward to posting more. Missed, I've missed you guys. I get so many comments um, on the old videos every single day. It's so uplifting and encouraging. And I feel really guilty that I haven't been posting regularly. But I am now. That's the goal. Every Friday. 8 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. There's going to be a new video. And I'm trying to build up a buffer so you've got like a few weeks in advance. And um, yeah. Keep smiling.